All right, dude, so let's keep going here. Um, you notice that we have here a blending that is very unrealistic, like it just fades fades out just like this. It's like it's like a hundred percent here and then fifty percent here and eventually when it gets to zero, zero percent here. And this is a very lineal fall off and that's not very realistic. So what I'm gonna do now is just to add some notes in our landscape so that we can fix this transition and have a more realistic result. So let's go back to our material let's open our master material and if you remember in the last video we had these two materials here that we are actually blending and we are using our break material attributes to just connect them we can also use the use material attributes and this will work just as fine but for the sake of this video let's just use this for now so our layer blend comes with a secret but not so secret option that is here it's the height blend which is exactly what you want so how this height blend works is that the first one you will stick with this one with the weight blend and the layer 2 will use the height blend okay so now you have this blending here and we can now grab one of our displacements so let's connect our displacement here just like that all right so what I'm gonna do here is to put the height map here and let's just grab the red channel and put it on height Okay, now that we have our height blend, just clip OK. And let's see what happens. So compiling compiling the shaders, shaders again. So it looks like nothing had happened, but actually it does. So just in case I will restart my landscape, we will create a new level and then open my landscape gym again. All right, so it, it changed a little bit. So what we need to do is to increase the contrast. So how are we gonna do it? You see, we have our displacement here. If we right click and start previewing the texture, you can see we have our white and black values. So if you imagine here, our this is our rock texture, this is our highest value, and this is the lowest one. So our grass will start growing from the black one, and then, and then if it's bigger enough, it will start growing here, and then if it gets bigger enough, you will reach to the top. And this is our white part, and this is our black part. So right now we don't have much transition between the blacks and whites. So if we can preview a 3D of our head map, it will look like this, something like this which is not too interesting. What do we want is to have something like this so we can actually see some contrast here. Okay, so the way we do that is very easy. Let's just add a power node. And what the power node will do is let's just add another constant and this will be our parameter. We'll call it L2 blend height contrast okay so we will put the default value to one and put it here and let's right click and start previewing the node and you can see that this nothing has changed however if i go here and i change this number to two you can see i have more and more contrast so let's say five let's say ten now you have a lot of contrast so let's say five is a Five is a good number, maybe maybe six. Okay, this looks much more interesting. And what we need to do instead is to connect this one to our height blend here. So now we will use this displacement. 
So let's check how it looks like. Okay, so let's go back here and let's go back to our material instance and let's take a look at our blending here. So you can see it's kind of working. It's it has much more contrast. You can see with zero, you have this smooth blend. But we, if you have get like five, you start having this blend that is, you know, now using more the height blend. So this is this is what you want, and you can play with the numbers to create something that actually maybe feels more realistic instead of something like this that is just not natural. But if you put like maybe five then for sure you will have a more natural result and if we paint here our landscape let's decrease our strength and let's paint the grass here you can see how it can affect our blending here with our height map which looks much better all right so we will leave other parts of the video for later and also if you want to try if you want to try you can actually use this note so just so you can take a look which different blendings can actually help you to have different results so let's the shader compile Okay, so now when we paint, can get something like this. Okay, so up to you which one you want to use. I'm not exactly sure like which one of the displacements should go here, but in my experience, you just stack them, these two, the ground with the ground, and then when you get your new layers, then of course you will have the second one connected. So if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe and let us know in the comments which kind of video you want to watch. And if you have any kind of problem you're making a game, just let us know and we make make a video about it. And if you need some resources and you're making a game, check the links below in the description so you can get some help for free.